Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete tutorial on the Amelia WordPress plugin. In this video, I'm going to take you through step by step and show you how to set up the Amelia plugin on your WordPress website. So the very first thing that we need to do is actually get the Amelia plugin. I will leave a link for the Amelia plugin in the description of this video and using this link will get you the best deals and discounts available. So once you have clicked on that link, it's going to take you over to this page. And then all we are going to do is click right here on get started. And we can now choose the Amelia plan that we would like to go for. The plan that you choose really depends on the features that you are looking for. And if we just scroll down right here to compare plans, we can see the difference between these. So as an example, if you are looking for recurring appointments, as an example, if somebody books once for maybe a therapy session and you want them to book in weekly, then you would want to go with the standard plan. So rather than me going into detail and explaining exactly what each of these plans have, just go over to this area and scroll through this and see which one you need. Once you have decided on the version of Amelia you would like, all we have to do is click right here on buy now. And then in here, we just enter in our email address and our zip code. Once that is entered, we can click on continue. And in this area, we just enter in the payment information of how we would like to buy Amelia. Once we have bought the Amelia plugin, it's then going to ask us to create a password for our Amelia account. So we can go ahead and create our password right here. And once that has been entered, it's then going to take us over to the licenses area. So in here, you should just see one license, which is Amelia. And then all we have to do to actually download the plugin is go over to these three dots on the right hand side, click into this and then click on download. This is then going to download the Amelia booking zip file. And this is what we are going to upload into WordPress to actually install this plugin onto our WordPress website. Now that we have the Amelia plugin installed, you want to log into your WordPress account, make sure you are logged into WordPress and we are on the dashboard. And then from here, all we are going to do to install this plugin is go over to plugins on this left hand side and click right here on add new plugin. So we select this and then right at the top, you can see add plugins and we have this upload plugin button. So we just click into this and then right here, we can now choose the file that we would like to upload. So we just click into this, select the Amelia booking file, and then we can click on install now. The Amelia plugin is now going to go ahead and download. We can see that this is installing. And then once it has installed, we just click on activate plugin right here. And this is now going to activate the Amelia plugin and actually put it live onto WordPress. So if we now look down the left hand side, after we have activated this, we should see right at the bottom, we now have the Amelia plugin right here. So let's go ahead and click into this. And this is going to take us over to the Amelia dashboard. So in here, by simply clicking on the Amelia plugin, once we actually start having bookings coming in and people booking appointments, it's going to show everything here in the dashboard. So the approved appointments, the percentage of load, the revenue, down here, we can see the employees that we have and the services that we have. We can see upcoming appointments and a bunch of other information. As we have just installed the Amelia plugin, there are a few backend settings that we need to go in and set up before we even think about adding employees and adding services and putting this live on the site. So all we are going to do is make sure Amelia is open and then click into settings right here. And from the settings area, the first part we are going to go into and set up is the payments. So when we set up payments, this is going to allow people to make payments and pay for their appointment on the website. So we can click into view payment settings right here. And this tab is going to open up on the right hand side. So all we do is select the currency that we would like to receive payments in up here. This is not super relevant, but this is like the price symbol position. So we have the dollar sign before the price. We have the price separator, the number of decimals. We can go down and choose the currency symbol. And then if we scroll down, we then have all of these different payment providers. So we have like WooCommerce, PayPal, Stripe, all of these options. And the two that you need to set up is going to be PayPal and Stripe. 
Now, the reason these say upgrade is because for this tutorial, I just chose the basic license. There is no need for me to pay for a brand new standard license when I won't actually be using this license of Emilio. The two that you want to set up though is PayPal and Stripe. So we just click into PayPal. It will then give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this up. And the same for Stripe. The reason that we need these two is PayPal is of course going to allow you to accept PayPal and Stripe is going to allow you to accept the major credit and debit cards. So I'm talking Amex, uh, Visa, MasterCard, these are all through Stripe. So once we have all of those set up, we can click on save right here. And the second thing that we want to set up is the notifications. The reason that we want to set up notifications is so that anytime somebody books an appointment, cancels an appointment, does anything, you get a notification sent to your email. So for the mail service, this is not super important, but I always go with PHP. Any of these will work though. For the sender name, you want to enter in your name. So I would enter Riley Holden right here. And this is how it's going to show up. And then for the sender email, you want to enter your business email address in right here. So I would maybe go for Riley at geforcenorth.com. Then the only other thing that we would do is if you want to receive SMS messages, we could go down and create a number right here. And if you have other team members that you want to receive notifications, once again, we can go down, create this and add them right there. So that is the notifications area. We also want to go ahead and set up the company. So we just click into this and then enter in the company details, like the name, the address, the website, all of that good stuff then we can click on save right there. And then the last important one is working hours and days off. So if we click into this, this is where you can set the schedule for when you work and when you are open to booking appointments. So what I could do is go in here and we could say, I actually work between the hours of seven o'clock and 6 p.m. And then we can click on save. And if you are working the same hours across all of these days, we can apply to all days and then just remove any days when you don't work. So Saturday and Sunday, and that is perfect. So those are really the main things that we need to set up in settings. Once you have set up all of these backend settings, the next thing that we are going to do is go into here and set up any employees that you have. Now, if you don't have any employees, you still want to set up yourself as an employee here. So as an example, we can go in and add an employee. And I'm just going to add myself for the person who is going to be taking these appointments. So we can enter in the first and last name. We enter in the email. And then for this additional information, we don't really need to worry about this. We can then go over and set this person's work hours. By default, this is going to be the same as we just set. But if they work different hours, you can set this. Uh, any days off that they have on special days, we can set here. And also you can add a photo of them. And this is going to show up when somebody goes to book an appointment with them. So I can click in here and I'm just going to upload this image of myself. And then we can go ahead and save this. So once the employee has been set up or you have added as many employees as you need to add, the next thing that we can do is go to services. And this is where we can set up the services that we are going to offer. So in here, we can first of all set up categories if you want to. So as an example, a category might be if I am doing dog training, I might have a category for group sessions and a category for one on one. So we can go in and I can maybe say one on one. And then for the second category, I can go in here and I'm going to call this group sessions just like that. Once we have the category set up, we can now click in and add our individual services. So we can click on add service and I'm going to call this one hour dog training session. And I'll say one on one, just like that. We can then select the category that this is in. So of course this is one on one. We can then go down and select which employees are going to be in here. We can then go to the duration and pricing. So this is one hour. I'd set this to one hour. Choose the price for this. Let's price this at $50. And then the buffer time before and the buffer time after is essentially if you want to take breaks in between appointments, it's not going to let people book back to back. I like to leave this blank though. We can then go over to gallery and upload any images. In extras, we can add upsells right here. But once all of that has been added, we just go down and we can save this right here. So this is the idea of we just go through, we add in these different services into the different categories, and that's how we can set this up. Once we have these services and categories added, 
we can then go to the website right here. And this is where we can actually add the form in. So all we are going to do is we are going to edit the website and then we can search for the Amelia plugin. So I'm going to go here and select the step-by-step -step booking. This is the best. And we just drag this in. And it's just going to give us a piece of code in the editor. But as soon as we update this and view the actual website, we can see that we now have this booking form here at the bottom. So we can go in and select a date. Imagine I'm somebody on the website who is going through. We enter in the information. We would make the payment right here. And then this person can go ahead and make a booking on your website. So that is how you can set up the Amelia plugin. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.